Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a game like Agar.io in Construct 2. I hope it's called Agar or probably Agar. I don't know. I'm just going to call it Agar. So before starting this tutorial, I'd like to let you guys know that I'm running a contest in this channel and I'm giving away a five free Construct 2 licenses, personal licenses. Enter the contest. All you need to do is to just subscribe to this channel. I'm going to randomly pick five winners on July 4th, 2016. So let's get started with this tutorial. So first of all, I have taken two circles. That's it. These two circles. One is for the player. Another is for enemies. And also I have got tiled background. This is just going to be for the background. And I have kept this tiled background in a background layer. All right, this is background layer. So the player has got bullet behavior. I've kept it a speed of 100. You can keep it uh, whatever you want to. Also, I've kept uh, scroll to behavior to the player. And for the enemies, just the bullet behavior with speed of 70. So if you look at the event sheet, it's a very small event sheet. So every tick, every tick, the player's angle is going to be towards mouse.x and mouse.y so this is how we are going to control the player the player is always going to be moving towards the position of the mouse also at every random one to five seconds that is from every one through four seconds the enemy is going to change its angle to random 360 degrees so it's basically it can take any angle what it does is that it will change the direction of the enemy at uh, at random interval of time also so the collision part so when a player collides with enemy first it will check whether the player's height is greater than the enemy's height so height is greater than enemy's dot height all right so i uh, you can also do this with you can also do this with, with the width of the player but uh, the height and width are the same for enemies and the player just because it's a circle it's an even circle it's not an oval so just because it's not an oval the uh, you can do this with height or width anything so when it contacts with the enemies and if it is larger than the enemy then the size of the player is going to increase how much it is going to be increased well the width is going to be increased self dot width plus enemies dot width by 10 so basically it is going to increase by the one tenth of the enemy's width and the height is also going to be increased by one tenth of the height of the player on if the condition does not satisfy if the height is less for the player if the player is smaller than the enemy then the player gets destroyed so this is just a very simple coding for this game and i'm just going to uh, show you the, show you the game in action all right so if i take uh, these small enemies i get increase in the size another small one i got increase in the size but if i touch the uh, larger enemy i get destroyed so that that was it for this tutorial please leave a comment like this video and subscribe if you subscribe you get a chance to win a construct to personal license See you in my next tutorial.